forces in that is representing Nigeria in Biafra land will continue to kiss the dust. Till even if it is one person that is remaining, if that one person doesn't leave, we will continue to follow that one person until he kiss the dust, and then the Biafra government will take charge completely. My fellow Biafrans, our template is very, very clear. We have fought war, very, very brutal war that supervised the death of millions of Biafrans. Now we have learned our lesson and we also study Nigeria, how to dismantle this Nigeria, evil Nigeria. And that's exactly the pattern we are applying in this fight. And believe me, Nigeria will never ever survive this after 2nd of December. Nobody will listen to what we have done and see what we have done so far and ignored over 50 million votes. Even though we know how they are politically correct all the time, the international diplomacy and all that, our target is to navigate all these difficulties, all this international diplomacy, all this nonsensical political correctness, we are going to navigate it after 2nd of December. It is when the brain will start to work. I want all of you to understand that you must be very optimistic, stand very firm, be resilient. Our defense system is getting better by the day. The Biafra Defense Army, the Biafra Liberation Army, the Biafra Resistance Fighters and the Navy, they are all working together every day and we are getting better and better. From tomorrow, our target will be those who have been killing our women, those who have been facilitating the kidnapping of our people. If you don't know, the military, Nigeria army terrorists are the one that is responsible for all the kidnapping all over Nigeria. The kidnapping are happening even very close to the checkpoint where the military are sharing the proceeds from the ransom being paid to these terrorists. There has been many, 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 many testimony where the people that were kidnapped uh, have paid ransom and on their way coming out, they met Nigeria terrorist army. And the only thing they were asking is, how much did you pay to these Fulani kidnappers? They want to know how much the person have paid so that they are going to get their own share of the money. I am telling you, many people who have escaped and who have succeeded in paying ransom and coming out alive, and they met military on their way out, has testified this thing that the military were only interested in asking how much have they paid to the terrorists. So then when they collect their money, they know exactly how much they have paid. So my fellow Biafrans, we have come to end this particular criminality, terrorism against our people. And that's exactly what the Biafra government is doing. I am here to end this fight. Like I've always said, I will never hand over slavery and this particular fight to my next generation. I am here to hand them over freedom. And freedom, I will hand over to them and not this continuation of slavery under Nigeria system, not under the British company. I am here to hand over freedom to my people. You can hate me. You can like me. At the end of the day, it is not what you call me today that matters to me. It is what you are going to call me 10 years to come. From here, I will welcome questions and answers for, for, for some people. Those who want to ask questions, I am here. And uh, those who want to help me to answer questions also uh, will be allowed to answer questions on my behalf, especially when uh, those uh, people come with uh, some funny, funny questions. Other people can help to answer such questions. But I, I'm here for serious questions. For those who have very serious questions, I will be here to address all your questions and all your concerns. But one thing you must know is that I am not a pushover. And I believe Nigeria have seen that. If you think that Simon Ekpa is somebody you can push over, you, then you have not you don't know me i am here to end tinubu i am here to end nigeria i'm here to end the usman danfodio legacy i will end it the people who have ended it in their different countries doesn't have to head i am going to be more than more than any of any of all, all those people who have fought freedom including gandhi i am here to be more than gandhi gandhi did not even fight the kind of demons that we have in nigeria um, uh, nelson mandela did not fight the kind of demons that we have in Nigeria. And so I have brought I brought up myself, you know, I'm well cooked for this particular freedom. So anybody thinking that Samonepa is going down, you don't try, you don't know what is coming, you still have a long way to go. I will be here to finish this job. And by December, I will issue a declaration 
for the restoration of independence of Biafra, and the flag of Biafra will rise very, very high all over the world. That day, every Lazen office all over the world of Biafra will raise the Biafra flag very, very high. We will raise it very, very high from homeland to all over the world. And then after that, the diplomatic battle will begin for recognition of Biafra government. Thank you. Thank you, Prime Minister. Thank you, Biafra people. And thank you, everyone that have logged in here today. The floor is open to your questions. And we want you to be concise. Go straight to the questions and don't beat around the bush. Thank you so much. Bam, bam, bam. Deputy Minister of Information and Communications and Media, I salute you from here. Over to you. Thank you. Thank you, my able minister. Thank you, my PM. I appreciate it, sir. Thank you for all you are doing for us. Please, uh, as you're raising your hands, we're going to give you 60 seconds to bring your questions. Uh, let's go very quickly. Uh, Chris, uh, please open your mic. You have 60 seconds. All right. Good evening, all my fellow your friends. Uh, Samuel, good evening to you. Uh, I love your courage and your boldness in the pursuit of this cause of realization of Biafra. Um, after going through all what you've been doing, I have a question that I really want to ask you. And the question goes as thus, in as much as possible that uh, we are, according to you, the Afro declaration is not going back. He said by December. I would like to ask this question about, uh, I don't know, how many borders we have, we are going to have with Nigeria? And uh, how are we going to protect that by the time you declare Biafra? So that's my question. How are we going to protect our border? Yes, uh, I mean, I mean, where and where do we have the border within? Where, where and where are we going to have a border with Nigeria or go, any other part of the nations? Go, go, go and study the border. Did you not see the the, um, the map of Biafra? I saw the map of Biafra, but the map. So, the, so go and study it. Okay, that's one question. It says you can study that. What about uh, yeah, go and, go and study it. what about a uh, mountain? Uh, what about the protection of the border? Or oh, are we not going to protect the border as well? Are you are you the security that we're going to protect it? Come and uh, join our liberation army so you can be part of those who protect the border. Or you want everybody to do everything for you? Why you will be uh, chopping mango and uh, eating and somebody will be protecting the border for you? Are you not a human being? No, 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 that's not the, that's not what I, that's what so I'm what, trying, what that's question? not what I'm so trying. What is, what is the question? Okay, fine. Now, you know, when you have the other countries, now we have what they call, where, anywhere, probably a foreigner will pass through to another, to uh, border, pass through. How many border, how many border do you have as a Nigerian? As a Nigeria, I already know. Yes. I mean, I base, I only base, I, mean, I base in the West here, and in this are West you, here, are you, I have, are, you, are you not? Are you not a Nigerian? I mean, I I base in the West. Are I base in West. Here. Are you not a Nigerian? I didn't tell you when I came up here. I didn't introduce I, I, myself I, I, as a Nigerian. I, I, I'm, ask, I'm asking. Okay, so are you a Nigerian or are you a Yoruba? Are you a Odudua? Which one? <laughs> I'm not an Odudua person. So what are you? Which country are you from? I'm just the same thing, just like you. I'm also interested in the cause you are pursuing. That's the reason why I'm raising this question. I am asking you, I am asking you a question. So let us let us assume that you are Nigeria before now, right? You were uh -huh, okay. Uh, so when you were Nigeria, how many border do you have? Here I base in West here yeah, in this country. Where I West, here West. in Lagos State. Here in Lagos State, that's only what I know. I only know about Lagos State. We have two borders here in Lagos State. We have one in uh, so you, close so to you know, Oku State, yeah? so you don't and we know have it, one in so Abadak. So as, as, as the time you were Nigerian, you don't know anything about the border of Nigeria? I only know within the state where I've been, I've been uh, reside. That's where I know. So, so which is the answer is that since you were Nigeria, until now that you are now coming into Biafra, you do not know anything about the border of Nigeria? That's what I'm just telling you, that I know two borders can you in Lagos answer, State. Can you answer me straight away? I want that answer to come from your mouth. So you don't know the border of Nigeria? No, I don't know all. 
So if you don't know all, how many do you know? I only know about two. And which one? Which is what? They are, they are here in Lagos State. How old are you? One how, close how, how, how old are you? How old? Yes. <laughs> well, uh, at least I'm in 40s now. You are in 40s. So let's say, yes. let, when did you join? When did you begin to have interest in Biafra? Uh, I always have interest in Biafra from onset. Ever since our, uh, ever since our, you, 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 you cannot be having interest in Biafra from mm -hmm. onset. Otherwise, you will be part of the, 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 the Lagos today. So you have just shown interest in Biafra. So when did you start showing interest in Biafra? No, it's been a very long time. I started showing interest in Biafra. Over 30 so years ago, I've been showing interest in Biafra. Are you Biafra. part of the IPOB? Every every Biafra origin is an IPOP. It was the middle of IPOP. Are you, are you part of IPOP as an organization? As an organization? Well, no. I have not seen anywhere they are registering okay. as an IPOP. Okay. Are you I recognize of, myself are you as... Of Masob? Are you part of Masob? No, I don't know anything about Masob. Okay. okay, you see that you are not being truthful to yourself. Now you are 40 years, so I would not even take you as a person who is showing interest in Biafra because you are not you are not telling yourself the truth. So for the past 40 I, years... I said I don't have any... So for the past 40 years, as a 40 years old man, you do not know anything about Nigeria. You do not know the border of Nigeria. You do not know anything about the border, but you want to know the Biafra border that we have not yet declared. And also you have seen the map of Biafra and yet you have not even, you, I don't know whether you have seen the map of Nigeria and you don't know any border of Nigeria, but you want to know the border of Biafra that I have not yet declared independence. And we are not even restored. Are you not seeing that you are not being true for yourself? Are you not seeing that you sound very stupid at 40? How can you be a 40 year old man and you don't know anything about the country that you love so much? And you are here telling me you, are, you, are, you, you like Biafra, yet you have not joined any Biafra agitator, agitating group. You don't know anything about Masop, but you said you have had Biafra in your mind for 40 years. How can you be a Biafra? You don't even know what is Masop. And you are here saying it. That you don't know anything about myself. So for that reason, I will ask them to remove it because you are just not being truthful for yourself. It's just a waste of time You're listening to somebody who is a Biafran and he doesn't know anything about myself. How can you say you don't know anything about myself? I want me to listen to you. There is no way you are going to talk about Biafra today without acknowledging the myself. It is impossible. Even Mazen Amdikano came from myself. How can you be here telling me you are watching Biafra, you are following Biafra, I don't know what's myself. That's why we will continue to recognize and give our college to Wazurike, even though, uh, you know, he has handed over the betting, he did what he did, he cannot do it. No, one person cannot do it to the end. So this race of freedom is like uh, a relay. You run and give, and, but I'm here to end it. I'm the last leg of this relay. So for you to say that you don't know anything about uh, Masob and you don't uh, belong to IPOB, I don't need to talk to you. When you have re repented and uh, repented very well that you can tell me about Nigeria that you love so much, then you will come, I will teach you about Biafra. Since you cannot actually learn from what the information we already posted in the public about the border, if you look at the map, you are going to see the border where we have border, the countries we have border with, it is completely very, very well clear in that map. And I ask you, have you seen the map of Biafra? You said yes. Yet, you do not know where we have border, how we have border with uh, the Benue, how we have border with the Do State, how we have border with Amazonia, and then the one, other one is Atlantic Ocean. All those things you saw in the map that I posted, you do not know about it. You are just here to talk rubbish. All right, the next person, please. At 40. <laughs> At 40, at 40, is it? Yeah, for um, <laughs> my minister, Bam Bam Bam, please. Uh, what PM is addressing those uh, non entities, allow them to stay and hear the reply to the end first before you remove yeah, it. Yeah, thank you. But I just followed the instruction of PM. PM said that he asked us to remove him, and that was when I removed him. You understand, uh, my minister? No <laughs> a fool at 40 is a fool forever. Chai. He only came here to, you know, uh, represent the Afonjan Ascent team, and uh, he has been done and dusted. Now, very quickly, uh, Chuku Meze, please uh, unmute yourself and uh, ask your question, please. 
Yeah, thank you, Pastor Bano. Um, um, greetings, uh, my honorable prime minister. Um, thank you for what you're doing. Also, I just want to say um, thank you to Finland for what they are doing. Yes, I'm giving our PM a very, very safe haven. I respect him. His fundamental human right yes, and to be able to fight for his people before the offer. Um, my PM, you know, I've always, I know that this freedom is going to come and I know you are going to be the finisher. And I know you are the one that Chukwu Kike will use to end the zoo. Um, but I, I kind of have my worries, but I think the Afrans are very, very intelligent people and are blessed with great leaders, just like you, just like our leader Onyeji. My question is, given the history eh, of what we've been through, how far we've come and where we are today, most especially, to me, I see Nigeria as one of the one of the tools by extension that are used to subjugate we be Afrin and also also African by extension. And I'm hearing to you telling us about the, the template and the plans and everything for Biafra. Uh, I want to know how are we gonna put like strong policies, strong foundation in place so that we will not have another South Africa in Biafra. Because if you look at what the history of the freedom of South Africa, obviously you can see they are, still, they are back to where they were before. Everything is falling apart. And talking about the investors, these investors are going to be multinational corporations. I don't want to go into details, but over time, we know what their history has been like, most especially when it comes to people on the side of our continent. I, how are we going to make sure that the business is going to be equal partnership? And aside from that, since that they are multinational corporation, they will not have that strong to be able to influence anything about Biafra because I know after we get our freedom, those who over time that have planned to subjugate us, they will not stop. They will still keep coming. So it is left for us to have that foundation that will make sure that this freedom is here and here for good. So I just want to know you as the prime minister, how are we going to cement that and not to have that fear or even that concern of something like that ever happening again? Thank you. Thank you. I would have loved it if you would have asked me that, uh, are we not going to be like Namibia? Are we not going to be like uh, Mozambique? Are we not going to be like, um, you know, other Africa countries that actually got independent and, uh, and they are doing well? So why are you people always using a failed state to give example of Biafra? Biafra that are well educated, well scattered all over the world, contributing positively to other countries and building other countries. Tell me, those countries that are failed that you are mentioning are like South Africa, tell me any one person from South Africa that is doing anything outside of South Africa anywhere in the world. Mention one person. I'm asking you. Mention one name, a doctor from South Africa that is in America doing wonders, that is in the United Kingdom doing wonders, that is in Europe. Mention one, just one researcher or one professor or one doctor. But you cannot mention that because it, it, it doesn't exist. But Biafra has many. Tell me one South African person that has uh, attained the 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 uh, the, uh, the level of a Konjiwala. 